foods we might grab this year. It is our first full day in Kyoto. Yesterday was like travel day and we didn't really do that much, but today we are up super early. We woke up around 6.30 and now it is 7.30. We have not woken up this early or like been dressed and like out the door at this time this entire trip. So I'm super proud of us. And the reason why we did this is because Kyoto gets really, really busy during the afternoons. And because we're right beside a temple, like we just wanted to explore the area when there's like not a lot of tourists. So we're gonna roam here and take some pictures and then probably get breakfast. And yeah, and this is what I mean by it's super empty, like it's literally just Lani, and then the temple is right there. Ichigo Daifuku, which is like the strawberry mochi basically. All the shops are finally opening, and so we just got two, and then we're gonna head to Percent and hopefully get matcha because the one cafe that we went into didn't have matcha, which is very surprising because we're in Kyoto. There's matcha everywhere here. I and know. The fact that we found one place that we wanted to go to have no matcha is just weird. It's just like bad luck. Because like there's matcha even in like the pharmacy at this point. Like, yeah, matcha literally. Everywhere. So I found the kimono rental place and the lines upstairs changing and I think I'm gonna go with either purple or like pink and blue for my cut up because I think kimonos are gonna be way way too hot. This is one pattern that I really like, and then this is another. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm tan. What do you think? I like this one. I think I like this bag, or I could go like super traditional and get like a whole bucket. Or I could do a circle bag. and I got our new cut ties and we're like matching and it looks, so, looks cute. so cute. We did matching hair. I got this like hair accessory. <laughs> Makes noise. And this is the color combo. I picked two options. This is what the lady chose for me. She said the purple looked better on my skin tone and then she picked out the matching pink and I just got a traditional bag. So this is it. And I really like the bow she did in the back as well. Long and are headed to the Cafe. This is so cute. They even can engrave your name on the chopsticks. They're so adorable. This one's sold out, but let's see how the chopsticks look. I love this one. That's adorable. Okay, now for the cafe food that we actually came for. I think I might get a bun. There's even these ones or these. Ah, this is so cute. This Mickey Cafe is so cute. I'm literally standing beside a giant one. I just got the apple juice because I'm a big kid. So, really refreshing. And then I got this bread. I actually couldn't read it and I couldn't tell if it was 
it's red bean or chocolate and I'm okay with either. Okay, Lonnie and I made it to the bamboo forest and it's getting nice and shady because it's like 35 degrees right now. And it's so pretty. Okay, so we just came out of the bamboo forest. And now we're at the Rila Kuma Cafe, which is so cute. It's, they have actual food, so we might grab lunch here. And just like the Miffy Cafe, there's like everything's character themed. You might get some shaved ice. So we're sweating so bad right now. These cups are so cute, but that's a little crazy. <laughs> it's like 17, 18 Canadian. I love these little like chopstick stands. And you could get the chopsticks right beside. <laughs> Wait, this cup is even cuter. This is what Lonnie and I both wanted to get, but I guess we'll just go with an omelet instead. This also looks really good. You guys know that I love soybean powder. This is also adorable, but I already had so many sweets this morning. So this is my omelet, and I have no idea what the sauce is. It's giving me probably tomato with the egg, and then there's like cupy mayo. It's the belly and ham on the ears. Honestly, not that scared because Lonnie made a very good point that I've had this raw while it's moving on my plate. So <laughs> this will be fine. You just taste the egg. Really? Yeah. Well, now you have no egg. There's not that much flavor except like maybe like a soy or teriyaki sauce. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our last stop and last day at Nishiki Market because we are so full and also this kimono was so tight there's no room left for me to eat. I just got soy sauce like torch scallops. It smells really good. That's actually pretty good. I don't mind that but it's also just seafood. It's not like anything different that I've had like that. On second 
second thought, there's one more spot that we had to go to and it's the Daifuku place right at the end of the tunnel. It just has smooth red bean paste like filling inside. This is my last treat of the day. That's, that's probably not, yeah, true. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I'm gonna have shaved ice later. But we're gonna have this and it looks so good. It's so soft. Today is day two of Kyoto, and today I'm gonna be eating all things matcha flavored for the entire day. Right now we're at Fushimi Anar, which is all the really famous Tori gates, and then we're going to Uji, which is the town of matcha. I'm gonna try out lots of matcha shops there, buy a traditional matcha kit for home, of course, because you guys know I love matcha so much. I have one almost every single day. This is the map of all the Tory gates that we could go up to. Okay, well we're right there and we'll probably do half. Okay, so we started and it is so pretty. There's been so many just us walking from the main station. We're gonna get lunch and then find something sweet to eat. This place sells matcha ramen. So it's gonna be my first stop for the day and my first meal of the day. Okay, so the first matcha thing I'm gonna have today is matcha ramen, which means the noodles are matcha noodles. I have no idea what they're gonna taste like. I'm a little bit nervous because matcha can be bitter when it's like supposed to be savory. Matcha noodles with soy sauce soup ramen, that makes sense. Like you want to show you. Yeah, it's matcha noodles, salt soup, ramen with oil bag. Matcha dumpling. Okay, this is the ramen. It smells really, really good. I am not concerned anymore. Those also aren't like super vibrant green or anything. I'm just really curious what it's going to taste like. And then we got matcha kyoza, which I'm very curious to try as well. shaped ice and then also a matcha soft serve and i'm really excited to see like how bitter it is because lani and i have had quite a few matcha soft serve like ice creams in general in kyoto so i'm just wondering how different it'll taste now that we're in like uji which is like the land of matcha and then i got a tea set with my ice cream i got iced tea Oh my god, the uh, Airbnb's a mess. Is it? I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, guys? We have a bunch of naked babies, a bunch of snacks, oh, and no real food. <laughs> <laughs> Lani is in the editing zone. Her entire luggage is open. Her whole life is open. This is what I'm living out of for a month. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is 7 21 and we haven't eaten since like 12 so we're both about to get hangry and as Lonnie says that's scary yeah. do we learn the hard way in korea that we both get hangry so we're gonna go to a michelin guide sushi restaurant right now and eat <laughs> Okay, Lonnie's asleep now and I was just working for a little bit, but I'm gonna open up another mystery box I think this is becoming a thing where Lonnie and I open up a toy every night I'm opening up three today, but that's okay This is the bonsai mystery box that I got from kitty land and it's like super crushed from travel These are the options that you could get so Louie is in the middle, Growl is in the bottom I don't know what the one on the top is, but that one's really cute I would really like this one. There's Pikachu and Bonsley, which I also would really like. Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting any of these ones. Okay, opening time. And before we open it, it was $11. I got chest and flesh, and you have to like build it. Let me do that. 